Have you ever built something that looked amazing on your laptop, but the second you open it up on your phone, it falls apart? Yeah, that's what happened to me with this barbershop website, and I'm not talking about small bugs, I mean sections overlapping, buttons jumping around, text squeezed into corners like it's hiding from the user. But here's the thing, I'm not hiding from this, I'm documenting every single step, every mistake, and every fix, because this is practice. This is how I get better, and I know the next one, it's gonna be cleaner, faster, smoother, but this one, this one's teaching me more than any tutorial ever could. So I started building the barbershop's website like most people would, homepage first. I had the logo, the nav bar, and a solid hero section, some images, a call to action. On my laptop, it looked great, like I was really proud. The layout felt tight, the sections stacked clean, everything snapped into place like I actually knew what I was doing. But the mistake, I built that homepage using position relative for everything. I didn't even realize at the time, I just kept using relative positioning to nudge things around and it gave me the control that I wanted until I needed to build other pages or make it responsive. So here's the problem with using relative positioning everywhere. It becomes a trap. Like, yeah, you can move stuff where you want, but then every other section starts depending on that system. Now, when I go to stack something or space it on mobile, it's breaking. It's not shifting like Flexbox or Grid would. It's just sitting where it was told. No fluidity, no flow. And I didn't even notice how bad it was until I looked at it on my phone. I opened the site and was like, what is this? The images are overlapping, text is cramped, the spacing is completely off. It's like I made a desktop site and just hoped no one would ever use a phone. Now I'm in the phase where I'm trying to go back through and restructure each section. Trying to make the layout behave and it's a fight. I'll adjust one thing and it breaks another. I'll move a div and now the image that was perfect on the desktop is cut off on mobile. I'm trying to use Flexbox to fix it. I'm rebuilding containers. I'm checking mobile views after every change and it still doesn't feel right. Like I know what I want it to look like, but getting there, that's the part that's testing me. And the hardest part is when the design looks good in one place, but you scroll down and something else is off. It's like playing layout whack-a-mole, fix one thing, break another. But here's the thing. I'm not stopping because even with all these mistakes, I'm learning more than I ever have. I'm not just copying code anymore. I'm building, breaking, fixing, and understanding. Every time something looks wrong, I have to figure out why. This website might not be perfect, but it's my classroom. It's my lab. It's where I'm learning to solve layout problems in real time. And the more I struggle through it, the stronger I get. The homepage, I might rebuild it entirely, or I honestly might not. But I'm not ashamed of that. That's part of it. First drafts are allowed to be messy because now I know what not to do next time. And that's why I'm documenting this entire thing. Because I want to show the real process. Not just the clean portfolio shots, but the broken layouts, the misaligned sections, the rage refreshes at 2 a.m. when nothing lines up. That's the stuff that makes you better. That's where the skills get built. So what's next? I'm going to restructure this layout properly. I'm going to use Flexbox and Grid where I should have in the first place. I'm going to make sure the mobile view works before I get too deep in the styling. I'm going to build this page right. Then I'm going to build the next one even better. Every single website I make from this point on is going to level up. This barber site is teaching me patience, structure, spacing, responsiveness, the stuff tutorials don't always explain. And it's frustrating, yeah, but it is necessary. Because I'm not trying to be copy and paste dev, I want to understand why things work. I want to build things I am proud of. And the only way to get there is to just keep building. So if you're out there struggling too, just know you're not alone. Every developer messes up. Every layout breaks. Every site looks great on desktop and off on mobile at some point. But the ones who get better, they push through, they keep building, they fix what's broken and take what they've learned into the next project. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm documenting this whole process, every page, every mistake, every fix. And when this site is done, I'm going to look back and see exactly how far I've came because this is practice and I'm in it for the long game. Now, I may not end up going back and re-completing the homepage and making it in Flexbox, but I do now know when it comes to that next web page, what to do, where to begin where to start, where to end. Hopefully y'all ended up enjoying this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.